Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you taking the time to visit and check out my video. And uh, we are here in the Audi Evo, R the R8 Audi Evo GT3 car here at Zandvoort and um, I have been all over the place. I'm probably going to this video might be a few minutes longer than normal. Um, I've probably done five or six of these stent, hot stents. I mean, um, trying to find a, a balance, and, but of course with the Audi, you know, you keep going, you know, too loose and too tight and, it, you know, too much wear. It just it keeps going back and forth and you feel like a dog chasing your tail sometimes uh, with the Audi. Um, so, of course, it's just being difficult. I mean, it's just that's the norm. That's really the normal of the car. But uh, we're, I've been this is the best stint and um, getting the best balance that I that I can find with it. So um, when I go over the setup, it's going to be a little bit more detailed than normal, so I can talk about some different things. Um, so let's just make a couple laps. You know, jump in the car here. Got some different, you know, different things going on with this setup than I've done with pretty much with anything else. But you know, just trying to find um, again, you know, trying to go fast isn't really a big issue. It's trying to get it to go fast over a period of time. That is what is the killer. I think I've run a best of a 135.75 or 78, but and that's what the race setup. But I mean problem with it is I've had to you know adjust it because it keeps losing it near the end you know near the end it just becomes where you're just dropping time like ridiculous so it just this thing is uh, Jekyll and Hyde that's for sure which the Lamborghini is the same way but just not as bad it's it's definitely has the same trait i mean and it's still they're both very fast but it doesn't it doesn't seem to be as bad as the audi as a 135.98 that was the fast lap. So let's go to the last lap. I messed up that lap. It was 137.24, but I went off road. I went off road, and <laughs> so I kind of messed that that lap up. So this last lap wasn't too bad. This is the last lap of 30 minutes.
was the last lap. And let's see what the time is. So 136.76. So again, I mean, you're only talking about, you know, seven or eight tenths from my fast lap after 30 minutes. So that's, that's you know, that's not terrible for the for me and the Audi. Um, of course, fuel, I still have 28 liters. Um, so, you know, I started off with 80. Um, let's go over the, here's the timetables. Um, you can see a lot of 36. I mean, there's a 36 double O. Uh, double zero, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of 3620s, there's my fast lap there, 3640s, 30, 30, 20, um, I just mess up there, and then, you know, again, more in the mid to high 36s, so, again, you know, it's as consistent as I can make it, um, I mean, it's, you know, I've, I've had some other stints where I've, I've had some, like, two or three, like, 35, 70s, and 80s, but then at the end, it just totally just drops off a cliff, and you can't um, you can't do nothing with it. Uh, same with the um, aggressive. Uh, that's another thing I was going to mention. The aggressive actually is pretty good because uh, I really drove it for. A, I even did a stint with the aggressive setup, and it was a thirty. I did a fast lap of a thirty-six uh, zero six. I think it was. So, I mean, you're not even talking a tenth faster. Um, but what the, the problem was with it is this set, this here is like f almost four seconds faster than that than that stint so this stint here is almost not quite but is a little bit less than four seconds faster than a 30 minute stint with the uh, aggressive setup even though the aggressive setup had a 13606. I mean, barely, this a little bit slower, but the problem was it was not near as consistent and and had a really bad fall off. So, but I did that just to see, because, I mean, I was like, man, this thing's pretty good. You know, 36-0, and for just an aggressive, I mean, I was like, yeah, this is really good. Um, but, you know, and I did the stint, I could see it, you know, and then also the wear on the tires, so it had some pretty bad wear, and we'll talk about that also. So let's jump to the uh, setup. Go into the game, and you can see how many I got. Three or four right there. There's three or four of them right there, just ones that I've done. Um, so that's just the ones I recorded. Although there's other ones I haven't even. There's other ones I haven't even recorded. <laughs> so let's go into the game. And you can see just before. See, there's my fast. There's my fast lap right there. 35.78 so I've done that in the Audi but not in the not in the uh, 30 minutes stint to where I you know it was satisfactory as far as the consistency and the wear and this had some really difficult wear conditions so we're going to go over that so here's the setup um, we got 25.2 on the left side 27 on the right front 26.8 on the right rear uh, the toe is a negative 0 0.04, and I've done that to help with some of the wear. It was having some pretty bad front tire wear issues, so I took some of the, the – uh, I was running a little bit more negative toe, so I took some of that out. Camber, I have been everywhere, and this is really an odd setup, but it seems to be, wor it seems to be working as far as the wear issue. Um, the camber is negative 3.4 on the left and negative 3.6 on the right, with the caster at 14.5. On the rear, the toe is 0.1, and I guess I took some of that out too, and the camber is negative 2.9 on the left and negative 3.1 on the right. So the problem is I was, I've was i had the toe up at, you know, like at um, the aggressive, it's like three point, negative 3.9 on the camber. And I've had it all in between there and everything else. And the problem with that is it you get severe, you get light to moderate graining, and you also get on this left front, you get a blister on this left front. And sometimes you get it on the rear too. You get a blister or graining on the rear. So you get some pretty, you know, the wear issues, and that's why it starts really falling off really fast. So... Um, Again, 
I mean, all this stuff here is about the is really the best that I could see. Um, there's no performance advantage going more negative camber. Not that I did. I mean, I went way up to 3.9, 3.8, and it it didn't. The wear was just as bad. Everything was. It didn't help nothing. Uh, electronics are three and five. Fuel, of course, I had 80 liters. And of course, this you know we just got into this, so it's not going to show any of this. But it was graining light here. It was moderate here, and it had a blister here all the time. Every time I did these setups, um, until the last one, that last one that I showed you, it just had light graining on it. It just had light graining on the front, and that was it. It didn't have a blister, so I was happy with that. Um, I tried to do some more. But I, every, everything else, I was just going backwards. So that was actually the best one I could get out of it. And this one was once in a while. It was doing, I, I had a blister once and I had some graining before too. But on that last one, I didn't have anything on that one I showed you. So that's the best why it's the best hot stint out of probably four or five at least that I've done. Maybe six. I don't know. I've lost count. That's over, over multiple days. Lots of days. <laughs> um, mechanical. I got three on the anti roll bar. Brake bias is 58. Steering ratio is 14. Uh, brake, again, brake bias, you know, you can start off at 59 if you would prefer and then go down, be able to go down to 58. Um, so that might be something that is, you know, you can go down a little down to 57 if you need to, but you just got to be more a little more careful, especially near the end. You'll, you don't, you want to just get on the brakes and get off. You don't, don't want to be careful trail braking or it'll just slide. So that's just, but that's just me. Um, springs. Okay, let's talk about springs. On the front, I got 174,000. I was, I had it down to one, I had it from 153,000 all the up to 185,000. So I had three different sets of springs that I was really trying. And this is the best one that had the least amount of wear combined with the way I got the uh, alignment. It just, everything else was not working right so this is the happy medium if i went down it would um i still would get it and if i went up it would get even se more severe so um i basically just picked this one and it, it has a good happy medium um the bump stop rate is 1100 on the left front and a 1000 on the right front and the bump stop range is three on the left front and five on the right front um, on the rear, the springs are 163,000. Now, this one I had, I played again about the same amount from 144,000 up to 173. Um, and all different combinations with all these were back. I mean, I must have tried, I don't know how many times, different combinations back and forth. And this is the best one that I could find where it's 163,000. Um, to keep the wear from the rear uh, when I went uh, changed it it would I got some graining on the rear and one time I got a blister on this left rear uh, the bump stop rate was 800 on the left rear and 700 on the right rear the bump stop range is 15 on the left rear and 30 on the right rear any roll bar is three on the back with a preload of 40 now the, the aggressive has 30 that starts off with 30, but I, I found 40 just seems to keep it a little bit more um, uh, consistent, especially at the end. You still, you're, it's not, you're not sliding. It seems to be getting a little bit better drive coming through some of these corners, um, but any more than that, and it doesn't want to, it makes it worse. So basically, I just stuck with 40. That's the best that I could find. Um, the shocks on the front are 21, 19, 24, and 30. And on the rear, they're 20, 18, 24, and 28. Arrow, um, I have been all over everywhere with this thing. So again, um, 57 is, if you go down one more, I did have it at 56 for a little while, but on that curb coming onto the straightaway, before, you know, on the right side, if you're coming, going through those all those right-handers and getting ready to come on in the straightaway, it will if you hit it, it'll you'll wreck you. So um, going up to 57, it'll might disturb the car, but it doesn't wreck you. At least I didn't most with me. I just well, it might you know bounce the car, but 
it didn't wreck you. So again, that rate that 57, I really didn't want to go any lower because, um, you know, I was afraid if I hit something, it wrecked the car. Uh, right height, I got at 62 on the rear, and I've had that all the way down to 60. I've had it up to 65, um, all over the place. So again, that's been everywhere. Uh, the rear wings maxed at five, um, and the brake ducts are four and three. And then front arrow variation is a negative 4.1. Now, again, if you want to just try it, you want a little bit more rotation, and it, it might pick up, you know, you probably can run some, you know, 135 8s or 9s, good chance of it, um, maybe a couple, few, you know, a few laps of those. All you got to do is go down one. Just go down one on this rear wing, okay? It'll rotate more, and it should be a little bit quicker. Um but just be in mind, just keep in mind that it is going to rotate faster doing that. Um, so you need to be extremely smooth. Um, maybe dial the attack down a little bit. Be extremely smooth, you know, as far as going through the corners and, and things like that. And maybe, you know, not have it on absolute 110% max boil every lap because if you do... What's going to happen as at near the end, especially in a 45-minute race or even longer, you're, you're going to be you're going to be just miserable. So um, I would d definitely you'd have to you know modulate it and just be as smooth as you can and try to not go too crazy. But that's what I would do. And to be honest with you, um, if I did that, I would go here to the brake bias and back it up to probably 59 or 60. Um, and just to keep their back end happy and not uh, upset it, where if you take more downforce out, I would I would back it to at least 59 and maybe 60. I think it was 64 on the aggressive. So again, you know, it's still a lot more aggressive than what the aggressive was. <laughs> so, um, I, but I, that's what I would do. I'd back it off a little bit, and I did run this all over. I had this at 61, probably from between 58 and 61 all over the place trying to find a, a good balance but still good you know stopping and i mean we can raise this up to 59 because it doesn't really matter it doesn't really hurt at all as far as the stopping power um it just doesn't rotate maybe as good uh, if you if you have a little bit of the brake going into the corners and the same thing with the um if you go down to 58 then it'll be fine because like i said i ran it even in the 57s so that's what i would do but anyway I hope you enjoy the setup. I hope it works good for you. Um, again, if there's any questions, any comments or feedback or questions about the setup, just let me know. You know, just put it in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and uh, like I said, uh, I sure uh, hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. I really would appreciate it. I uh, really appreciate the support just like this. You know, something that takes, you know, I'm, I can't even tell you how many hours I got in this. It's, it's embarrassing, to be honest. So, But I really don't try to put something out unless it's at least a good setup, something that you guys can say, yeah, this is, you know, it's, it's good, it works. Um, and, you know, and like I said, it was almost a four-second improvement over the aggressive. And that's what I'm trying to give you, something, an option other than the aggressive that's better, faster, better in pretty much every way. Um, so I, like I said, I hope that that's what it is as far as you all can enjoy it and it works good for you and, uh, with, you know, and, you know, maybe a minor adjustment, but hopefully it'll work great for you. And, uh, I sure hope you come back and visit again. Y'all take care. See ya.